you very much. So the, the title is Good Jobs in a Good Economy. Uh, it's very good to have a title in which there are only two terms. You can, I'm sorry. Okay, then I come in. <coughs> is it okay now? No? no? Closer. Even closer. <laughs> okay. So, so it's good to have a title in which there are only two terms we, what we can't define. So good jobs and good economy. So I will, I will say some words about good jobs, not too much about good economy, and everything is in, in parentheses and, 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 and quotation marks. So the usual caveats. Uh, we are just about to start. We are a little bit behind the schedule. We were expecting a little bit longer negotiations with the, with the, with the commission. Um, uh, we are in the process of the final select selection of the researchers and the sites, uh, and we have more questions than, than answers. So running through the, how do I go? Okay. Running through the organizational matters uh, uh, very quickly. So we have three participating institutions, the Conference Board, the Governance Institute, and the Institute for Human Sciences, my institute, and we have four countries to cover, uh, the UK, Hungary, Slovakia, and Spain. We badly need Scandinavia, I guess, I mean, for representative reasons. Uh, but uh, at this point, uh, you know, the selection was contingent on, on some kind of natural networks, uh, basically national networks. Uh, the schedule is starting now, and we have 20 months to, 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 to finish. Uh, we have two phases. The first one is basically literature, uh, literature reviews, four country reports, uh, and a comparative report. In the second stage, we have case studies, altogether 12 case studies in four countries. And finally, a comparative, final comparative report has to be made. Two deliverables and, and two milestones. Uh, now the hard stuff is uh, the objective of the whole research, which is exploring cultural components of employment programs in four countries by comparing economic, political, popular, and scientific discourses. A little bit too much, uh, you may say, I, I say as well, uh, what do we mean by programs? Usually concepts, plans, guidelines, all kinds of normative uh, propositions, which will be somehow compared uh, with the reception of these uh, and the interpretation of these, including uh, public opinion as well. So we will work much more with cultural matters, perceptions, ideas, habits, norms, values, than real facts. Now about the working hypothesis, some rather pessimistic ones. If one reads the literature, I mean the relevant literature, I'm, I'm, I'm a newcomer to this literature, to tell the truth, uh, you might presume that you will have much more, uh, how to say, uh, SET ignorance. You will uh, encounter much more SET ignorance than SET awareness, I mean, in the literature. Uh, also, you will have a lot of complaints about uh, that the quantity of jobs, the demand for quantity of jobs is overshadowing uh, the qualitative aspect, uh, aspects, and also that there is some kind of declining job satisfaction. So you, you have a lot of uh, you know, pessimistic or realistic uh, presumptions, and you have to deal with that if you want to cover the cultural uh, attributes. You will also find, I guess, a lot of frictions. So this is culture. So you will find gaps, frictions, shocks uh, sometimes, and negotiations uh, uh, within and between certain employment programs. And the first thing is with, 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 with the socio-ecological uh, uh, transition, whether the two adjectives there, social and, uh, and ecological, whether they are not colliding sometimes, so not, they are not controversial sometimes. So this, this will be a very difficult issue. Also, uh, researchers are complaining about, I would call it a kind of uh, re-traditionalization -tradition of uh, popular views. So there is much more emphasis on, on security and certain material values and much less emphasis now on what we called at the time post-material values. Yes, I will. I, I think I, I can stop any time. So. <laughs> uh, so 
uh, we will have a lot of conflicts, frictions. This is what I, I presume, but this is why cultural research is quite interesting. And we will also have gaps between the cultural programs and the culture, uh, I mean, between the employment programs and the cultural context. And we will have also, I guess, rather large differences between the countries and the cases. And this is a question, whether we should make the countries the basis of comparison or the cases we will have. Uh, about the concepts, uh, yeah, I mean, we have to set up a vocabulary, I guess, of what people, what scholars, ordinary people, politicians, and so on and so forth, uh, mean by a good job and somehow compare that. It is not enough to, to go back to the, the quantitative analysis and say that the good job is the existing job. So we have to go into job quality, and uh, that's a very difficult issue. Uh, in the in the state of the art reports, I think we will much more concentrate on the idea, ideational matters and much more uh, we will much more focus on on behavioral matters in the case studies. Uh, whose programs? Whose employment programs? I mean, there are a lot of uh, a great many of actors here, like the EU, the governments, parties, social partners, NGOs, uh, citizens at large, uh, science, media, and so on. So we have to be very very selective, and this will be uh, and this, I'm, I'm sure a very difficult pro uh, process. Uh, an additional uh, problem is whether we, whether we should use a kind of uh, uh, east-west comparative dimension here. It is given by the, somehow by the, uh, by the partners, uh, and there are some, again, pessimistic uh, you know, uh, presumptions about how in the east job quality does not matter or, or matter much less than, than, than in the west. Uh, this is a kind of uh, platitude, a kind of commonplace. I don't know whether we have to, we have to deal with that, but it is somehow given in the, in the composition, in the configuration of the project. Uh, Yes, we have to, to harmonize the literature and the real cases according to certain topics. And now I go back uh, to the, to the uh, literature reviews, the state-of-the-art reports. The qu first question is the time frame. I would suggest to start some of, somewhere in, in the new millennium because of the Lisbon uh, thing and also the European employment strategy. Uh, we have to uh, uh, decide whether, we, whether the, these uh, um, uh, state-of-the-art reports, whether they would uh, uh, cover academic texts only, or we would, uh, we would also include political programs and so on and so forth, or we would include them only in the case studies. That's a question. Choice of disciplines, uh, basically, I guess, labor, economics, and, and sociology, uh, selected topics, and that's probably the big issue here, uh, whether, we should, uh, uh, whether we should try to investigate the conventional aspects of job quality, uh, like job satisfaction, skills, learning, career development, and so on and so forth, or testing certain catchwords. That would be probably the, a more sp spectacular approach to that. I mean, catchwords, I mean, like Green New Deal, just transition, employability, uh, precarity, flexi flex security, and all these things. So that, that, that is also a, an open question. Um, and I'm finishing soon. Uh, the case studies, uh, uh, this is this means that we do not make big surveys. So the, we, uh, this is a kind of uh, qualitative thing with a lot of intuition, a lot of participant observation, and so on. So uh, I don't think I have to uh, have to go into this. The big thing is here again: what kind of sites, what kind of cases should we should we cover? Uh, whether we should go for a very simplistic thing, let's say have an industrial case, an agricultural, rural case, and, uh, and something in services, or uh, looking at some scan scandalous cases, sites, projects, like, like a, a contested uh, uh, investment. I finished soon. And the same thing with the, with the selection of the research questions. Finally, I mean, this is my last word, that we are highly dependent on, on work package one, so we need some cooperation and we need a lot of input, especially concerning the concept of the good economy. And we are partly friendly, so partner friendly, I'm sorry. So we are inviting a lot of questions and, uh, from the others. Thank you.